Has your skin been itchy, dry, or flaky for a while? Do you not know what's causing it? Maybe you need to assess your shower habits. Hey there, bestie viewers. Did you know something as simple as a natural shower can ruin your skin and hair? This is because of some common mistakes you make every time you get into the shower. In today's video, we're going to talk about the most common shower mistakes that harm your skin. Are long showers a bad idea? What about using a loofah? Is it wrong to take a hot shower? We'll talk about all of this and more. Did you know that showering daily is bad for your skin? Okay, I know this sounds crazy, but dermatologists recommend showering every other day or only two to three times a week. I agree, personal cleanliness cannot be ignored, but showering every day is pointless and can be really bad for your skin. The opinion is that if you avoid showering every day, the natural oils of your skin will renew, leading to supple skin that's well moisturized and hydrated. A coating of oil on the skin is essential if you want to keep it healthy. Your skin is made up of multiple microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, and viruses. Shower gel and overwashing can disturb your skin's microorganism balance, making it vulnerable to problems like dryness, infection, and sensitivity. Too much showering can also worsen the symptoms of skin diseases including psoriasis and eczema. Don't avoid showering just because you're lazy. You can have skin infections if there's too many harmful bacteria on your skin. This can lead to dermatitis neglecta, a condition where the skin develops plaque due to insufficient washing. Bathing also eliminates dead skin cells. They can attach to your skin and create hyperpigmentation. The best way is to stick to only one shower per day. They shouldn't be longer than five minutes. Also, try to avoid using hot water. What happens if some soap suds are left on your skin after a shower? That feeling of being fresh out of the shower never gets old. There are fewer things sweeter than the smell of your body wash. The only problem is soap suds. It's important to take your time washing off after your shower. This way, you can make sure that all traces of soap and hair products are cleaned. If you rush your end of shower rinse and some soap residue lingers on your skin, it'll become dry and itchy in a matter of hours. If you don't rinse away the soap properly, it'll do more harm to your skin than good. It can worsen diseases such as dermatitis. This is a red, itchy rash produced by everyday products like perfumes, disinfectants, and yes, soap. Don't forget to moisturize your skin immediately after a shower. If you take too long to moisturize after washing, your skin will be crying for help. Even a short and lukewarm dip will take sebum away from your skin, making it dry, itchy, and tight. Moisturizer creates a barrier that prevents your skin from losing water, while also keeping out bacteria, viruses, and irritants. Remember to lightly pat your skin first. This leaves it damp enough to apply the moisturizer. It'll help store the hydration offered by the water. Focus on your face, hands, and chest in particular. The main components of a lipid layer of your skin are ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. So, you should look for moisturizers that contain ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and glycerin to replace what's lost in the shower. Make the most of your lotion by applying it 60 seconds after you get out of the bath. Hot showers may be comforting, but not skin-friendly. Nothing beats a comforting hot shower or a calming dip in the tub. It can reduce nasal congestion, relieve stress, and promote sleep. But did you know that frequent hot showers can dry your skin up? Hot water damages keratin cells that line the outer layer of your skin. It strips off natural oils from the skin, leaving it dry and flaky. The high-temperature shower can also cause an inflammatory reaction, causing redness, itchy, and irritation. Eczema, psoriasis, acne, and rosacea are some of the skin problems that can be aggravated by long, hot showers. It's not just the skin that suffers the effects of a hot shower. Your hair will also feel the wrath. Hot water hurts your hair follicles. The texture and quality of your hair will deteriorate, as it's quite difficult to completely rinse off shampoo and conditioner when the water is hot. If your skin is red when you get out of the shower, the water is way too hot. Showering in cold or lukewarm water a few times a week keeps your skin hydrated and your hair strong. Wash your hair separately. 
If you like a quick shower where you're clean in all areas, I've got some bad news for you. You shouldn't wash your hair in the shower. If you've noticed irritation, unexpected breakouts, redness, or a dull complexion, your hair products are to blame. Confused? Let me explain. A plan for showering is more important than you think. It's better to wash your hair and tie it up in a shower cap before going in. The harsh chemicals in shampoos and hair conditioners can stick to your skin, causing irritation and dryness. Conditioners have also been known to create a layer that prevents SPF from working properly. This can leave your skin vulnerable when you go out in the sun. Wash your skin with a gentle cleanser after rinsing off your shampoo and conditioner. It's the last item that'll touch your skin. This will help you keep your skin clean, clear, and wrinkle-free. Stop scrubbing your body with a loofah. Loofahs can be fantastic for exfoliating the skin. The problem is that using them too much can be harsh and abrasive, causing inflammation and dryness. The sponge comes in contact with dirty parts of your body and then it sits around, causing bacteria to grow in nooks and crannies. These organisms thrive in the warm and wet atmosphere of the shower and increase the risk of serious skin infection. Some of you may only feel clean after scrubbing your body with a loofah, so if you need to use one, don't scrub too hard. Use it only once or twice a week and always rinse the loofah well before letting it air dry. If you need to scrub with something, try using a washcloth gently. Maintain the cleanliness of your washcloth by cleaning it with hot water every three uses. You can also avoid bacteria growth by soaking your sponge in vinegar or diluted bleach. The shorter the shower, the better the skin. I know that showering is an important time for washing away sweat, removing dead skin cells, and preventing body odor. But as said a few minutes back, everyday showers can harm your skin. If you still want to go for it, it's best to cut back on your shower time. Long showers, not just hot showers, can dry out your skin. Washing your skin for lengthy periods can remove natural oils and disturb the bacteria that help your immune system thrive. Keep it simple. Get in, clean up, and leave. Turn the water off while letting your conditioner set in. This will save water and protect your skin. Skip out on your daily shower every now and then, depending on your daily activity level, occupation, or the weather. If you want to reduce the harm done to your skin, make sure your shower is no longer than five minutes. Do not wash your face in the shower. Just like you, I had no idea there were people who didn't wash their faces in the shower. I mean, isn't it normal for people to do that? According to experts, you'll be contributing to skin problems if you wash your face in the shower. It simply means that you'll be in the bath for longer, which can cause dry skin and hyperpigmentation. The water temperature can also be an issue, as the water you use in the shower is likely to be hotter than the water you should use to wash your face. Also, as I said before, shampoos and hair conditioners include harsh chemicals, so you don't want them flowing down your face. There's nothing wrong with washing your face at the sink. You'll notice a difference in your skin once you start washing your face separately from your shower. Use a non-abrasive, mild cleanser to remove the pollutants from your face. Keep your razor away from your shower. Who doesn't want baby smooth skin? Achieving the best shave possible helps with accomplishing this goal. This is where the importance of razor hygiene comes into play. If your razor is in a warm, wet environment, the humidity is bad for the razor as well as your skin. It'll rust the blades and raise your risk of bacteria and fungus on the skin. Pat dry your razor on a clean towel after every use. This will keep it clean and sharp. Once this is done, store it with a special gel package to keep the blades dry. Also, try shaving at night rather than early in the morning. When you go to bed, your legs will warm up and swell, causing the hairs to retreat into the follicles and become less noticeable. Your legs will feel smoother than they are when you wake up in the morning. Your shower habits are very important for your skin to thrive. Try avoiding a few of these habits for a few weeks. You'll see a surprising difference in your skin quality. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more skin and shower related videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out what happens to your body when you stop showering. Or how about 13 foods to avoid if you want younger looking skin? Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and find a personalized routine that suits your skin. Do you shower daily? Are you thinking of changing your shower habits after watching this video? Let us know in the comments below.